Make it field day fun. Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my shack for a ham shack chat. This is the first in a series about the ARRL field day. Uh, future ones will include rules, suggestions, classes, uh, bonus points. Uh, but in this one, I'm going to answer the question, what is field day? By the way, as I release these additional videos, I'll come back to this one and add a card like this up here and uh, that will direct you to those other videos. In this video we're going to look at the history and evolution of field day, different views of field day and we'll compare group and club field days against operating as an individual. History. Let's take a brief look at the history and evolution of field day. The first ARRL field day was held on the second Saturday in June of 1933. The winning team that year scored 1,876 points. Now, this was so well received with amateur operators of the time that they repeated it in August of that year. Since then, it has been held every year uh, with the exception of during the Second World War when ham radio uh, basically was forbidden from 1942 to 1945. Most of the radios used during those first field days were either homebrew or converted military rigs. Not the small portable ones we have today, certainly. Since that first field day, radio amateurs throughout North America have used their skills practicing rapid deployment of ham radio equipment in environments from operating under tents in remote areas to operating inside emergency operations centers, uh, local parks, parking lots, and yes, from their own QTHs. Fair warning. I give you fair warning. Much of what follows in this video is my opinion. But it's my opinion. However, it's an informed opinion formed by many years of leading and participating in field day efforts with multiple clubs. I've probably done 25 field days in the last 30 plus years. Uh, although you can do field day as an individual, I believe, my opinion, that it is better when done with a club or a group. So that's going to kind of be the focus of these videos. I also believe that it better represents the traditions of field day. That said, if you got no other options, yes, please do it from your home. Now, for many clubs, it is primarily a social event, giving friends and families an opportunity to get together outside, work together on a shared hobby, enjoy a meal together, uh, all while catching up. Now there are those who will tell you, field day is not a contest. And there are others who will express the opposite opinion. Uh, the ARRL has made the comment, even though field day is listed on their website in the contest section. Now let me be a little bit of a philosopher here. Human beings are by nature competitive and given any avocation or hobby, from fishing to race car driving, from archery and competitive shooting to quilting. Uh, if there's any way to compete, people will find it. How else can you explain lawnmower races? Ham radio is no different. So, in response to those who say that field day is not a contest, I simply ask then, why do we keep score? Do you know the original purpose of the appendix, Leonard? The original purpose of Field Day was to show that ham radio operators had the knowledge, skills, and stamina to provide emergency communications in remote locations for 24 hours straight. Field Day was not only meant to do these skills, but to demonstrate them to public and political leaders. This is still a big part of field day as you can get bonus points, big bonus points for getting 
your local uh, emergency services folks, local politicians, others like that, to your field day site. As I mentioned in the beginning of this, this is a series of several videos with this serving as the introduction. In the next video, I'll be discussing the exchange with a focus on different operating class and different ARRLs and RAC, that's Canadian sections. I'll also talk about what to do if you're not in one of those sections or if you receive a contact from someone who's not in those sections. In the meantime, while you patiently await the next video in this series, I put a couple links down there in the video description. One, to the full rules of the contest, and you might want to review that. And another, where you can research where different field day sites are and find one close to you. That is, assuming that you don't have an active club doing a field day. You should do it with your own club first. Now, come field day, I will be operating Class F. I'll leave it up to you to figure out what that is. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. <laughs> please like me. By popping that thumbs up button. Please share. Sharing is fun. This video with friends and colleagues who may be interested in finding out what Field Day is all about. And uh, please make sure you share on social media as well. Also, please leave a comment. Questions? Comments? Down below. And uh, tell us your experiences with Field Day and what you're planning on doing this year. Finally, please consider subscribing. Sorry, you already subscribed. I certainly do appreciate it. Now, here's a video you might want to take a look at. Until the next, hey y'all, always at your service. 73, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.